Hey what's going on guys, Turty Worthy here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.18. Now in this tutorial we are going to be covering access transformers which is what I talked about in my last tutorial where we updated from 1.17 to 1.18 and we redid all the ore gen. So the first thing you may question is you may ask, what is an access transformer? And access transformers are actually pretty simple. They're a simple concept. So essentially what they do is they allow you to change a vanilla uh, modifier of a field to a different modifier. So for example, let's assume this was a vanilla class. It's not a vanilla class, of course, but let's assume it was, and let's assume this was Let's assume it was private. Now let's assume we wanted to access this from another class. Now we could use reflection, that could work. However, the, the more common way, if you wanted to access it many times, for example, you wouldn't want to do loads and loads of reflection, you would just, it, it would be much easier if it was just public. So what we can do is write an access transformer that will change this to public. And you can also remove finals uh, you can change it to a different modifier so you could say that it was already public and for some reason you wanted it to be private which is a bad idea don't do that because that will probably cause issues so don't do that but let's say you wanted to do that I don't know why um, don't but let's just assume you did then you could change it to private or you know, package private or protected or whatever. You could add final even, I believe. Maybe maybe you can't add final actually. But yeah, you can remove final and, and et cetera, et cetera. So in the last tutorial when we updated, I mentioned there were two ways of doing ores that I am aware of. And the first is to use this way uh, right here where we pass in the different placement modifiers into our placed method. And this is all well and good, however, we have some duplicate things here. So, the first thing we're duplicating across all of these is we are adding the spread, because we need it to uh, be different on the X and Z. That's normal. Um, but we're, we're doing that through all of these, so that is something we sh should be able to remove. Also here, we're having to do count placement of. It would be much easier if we could just put 100 in here instead of having to put count placement dot of that'd be pretty good wouldn't it and the other thing is uh, this right here so once again we're having to use the different uh, methods to grab these vertical anchors it'd be great if we could once again just have that done for us so thankfully vanilla has a free methods which we can do this however all three of them are private. So if we just hop into the or placements class and just scroll all the way down, you can see these three methods right here. So you have a normal or placement, you have a common or placement and a rare or placement. And essentially this just passes those things in for you. You don't need to actually go and uh, do it yourself. So this one is the more uh, common one that everyone uses because it's just an int for the rarity and the the height essentially which is great there's also this one right here which is a rarity filter i assume this just makes it rarer i'm not entirely sure what this one does but yeah you can use this one too if you want so i'm going to show you how to 80 all three of these and make them all public so that we can use them so to do this your it's, it's a little bit of a pain to do this, actually, because you essentially are going to need the SRG name of this field. And that's basically the name that um, that is exported or is, is used when Minecraft exports its code. It turns everything into SRG names. I believe that's right. Actually, that might not be right, uh, but we'll just assume that's right. And, um, yeah, we need that name in order to be able to write an AT. 
and we can't get that or at least we can but we have to go through a bunch of different files and it's a whole it's a whole thing you have to compare things and all that so thankfully someone has made a discord bot for this now if you're not already on discord i do have a discord server uh, which i will show you in a momento um, and essentially in discord there is a bot and this bot will allow you to go ahead and write these it will allow you to basically change everything so you can get the AT for this method or you could get it for a class you can AT a bunch of things by the way so you can AT fields methods um, classes I believe there's a few things you can AT uh, which will allow you to do all these different things so I'm going to go ahead and bring my discord server over so here is my discord server and this is the bots channel and in here all I need to go ahead and do is go mapping method because this is a method there is also field and there is also class and I think there's also no there's not parameter okay so we want method and then we want to choose Mojang SRG which will get us the SRG name and then the search term is the name of the method or the name of the field or the name of the class so we want common or placement and then we want to go ahead and select the version and we want to make sure that's 1.18 otherwise it might give us it for the wrong version so let's put that in and if we give it a second here we go it gives us an, an embed and essentially it will show you the AT here also a mix in target but we can talk about that in the future uh, that's not something you should worry about we just want to copy this AT part right here then we can go into Eclipse now the next thing we need to do is actually create this access transformer file since we need somewhere to specify what we want to be changed and so in our meta inf folder inside our source main resources we're going to create a new file and this is simply just going to be called access transformer.cfg okay and then you want to come into your build.gradle and if you kept everything here from before you will see this commented line for the access transformer you just need to uncomment that line now if we close our build.gradle and paste this in here this should make this method public so if we go back in here oh it's not public so essentially to make something public or to to have this AT actually do something you have to go ahead and regen your runs and the reason is so that it can actually go ahead and uh, alter all of the classes and all of the methods and all of the fields that you have changed so we'll need to go ahead and do that however I'm going to make these two methods public as well so I'm once again just going to go on discord and I'm going to go mapping method mojang srg rare or placement 1.18 okay and let's just copy that one across okay here we go now let's just say this was a field and you wanted to make it not final to make it not final all you need to do is add a dash f after the public and that basically means to remove the final if you wanted to set it to private you would just put private if you wanted to set it to protected you just put protected and if you wanted to set it to package private pretty sure you just do no modifier or something like that uh, let me check actually because i'm not a hundred percent sure but anyways we want this to be public 
because yeah and let's let's just do this other one here so this or placement method as well um so we can once again just go onto discord and we can go mapping method mosang srg or placement 1.18 and if we plunk that in we see that it does actually give us all three of them here so we could just use this one from the start but we want this top one because this is the actual or placement method okay and i just confirmed it was not no modifier it's to get package private you need to put a default so yeah but we want it to be public as earlier stated and let's just plunk this final one in here that one's a lot longer i must say okay now to regen your runs there is essentially two ways you can do this the first way is to right click your project if this is eclipse and go gradle refresh gradle project and hopefully that will work however it's quite inconsistent and most of the time will not work so the alternative is to just go back into command prompt as we did in the first tutorial and just do our gen runs command however i think this might work so i'm going to let this finish running and i will see if it works okay so that has now completed and it actually did work so if you see this whole part right here this access transformer part you can assume that it probably works but not necessarily um in my case it did actually work just refreshing the gradle project if it doesn't you just need to run it in cmd but yeah as you can see these are all public now so we can use them let's go do that um, so we're going to use common or placement because I'm not sure what rare or placement does and or placement well, we just don't need that so let's come into here okay let's do glowstone or first so we want to use um, or placements dot common or placement and this integer is just the count so we want a count of a hundred and then we just need to pass in this height range placement modifier so let's just control x that let's uh, yeet these right here and just pass that in as the placement modifier and let that import and there you go that will work so we can actually copy this across to here actually no because we have completely different values okay so we can kind of copy this across we just need to say like that and like that right no, we need another bracket. Yeah, okay. So let's do that for these ones. So that one is triangle, that's fine. Let's do that one. Let's uh, eat this. And yeah, that's fine. There we go. So that should one now. I mean, it'll still work it's not going to have any issues um, but it just got rid of some repetitive code you can still do it the other way if you want that's perfectly fine and you're not in any way forced to do it this way this is i just think this is it's just cleaner um, you don't have as much repetitive code but both ways work it's completely up to you so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and find it useful if you did please do be sure to 
eat a peanut and then press that like button and also you might as well subscribe as well if you really enjoyed please do be sure to share it and yeah i will see you guys in the next tutorial good bye also join my discord server link in the description